journals, let's learn how to upload a photo for use into Monarch, where we can use it in InDesign and Photoshop. So here we go. I am on just a regular Google page, and I'm going to go into your book avenue. This is a review um, for those of you who might be looking for that. I'm going to put in my job number, 17722. My name, my name is Panther on here. Um, that would be your first name and last initial, and then my password. Okay. Now I'm going to go, now that I'm into your book avenue, I'm going to the create button and I'm going into Monarch. Waiting for it to load. Super. Here we go. So uh, there are a couple things that you can do. Because I downloaded this profile pic of mine, watch what happens if it's in my tray, which is often the case with you. You're downloading a photo that you want to put up in here. I'm clicking on it, and I'm. Oh wait, you know what? I have to go into. In, I have to go into one of the programs first. So I'll go into InDesign first. So I'm starting a session of InDesign. I have the picture that I want to put up to Monarch that I've just downloaded, so it's still showing in my tray. I'm being patient and letting this load. Okay, I have all green bars. It shows I have super strong bandwidth. Wonderful. Okay, I have my desktop is open. My application bar, my toolbar, and my palette bar. Now let's try this again. I am going to come here and drag it. So all I've done, I'll do it again, is I come here where the image is, I press my left mouse and I drag it. As soon as I get up into the pasteboard area, it says um, drop files to upload. And you see over here it says it's uploading. And it then it says it has uploaded. This means it uploaded to the cloud. Let's say you know that you have a photo on your Chromebook or your computer and it's not in your tray. Um, another way to do that is come back to this cloud and say upload files and click on it. And then your um, Chromebook files or your computer files will come up. So I just downloaded this on the Mac and this is the picture that I wanted. So I can click on it and I can do it this way too. So see it uploaded it just as well there. Okay, so now I need to go see where that is in Uploads. Uploads is a magical place in Monarch. Um, you have to be careful with it. You can never, I repeat, never leave any photos in your Uploads folder. So look at this. We've got to get take care of this tomorrow. Sammy needs to move all of these. She had asked me about it, so I'm going to show her how to do that tomorrow. Um, now also look at this. You need to rename your images before you put them in there. There's a very good possibility that someone else has an image named IMG8790 and it will literally write over your photo and you will not be able to get it back. Okay, so I'll go into some good cleanup ideas. Um, tomorrow when we have a live class. But here I'm going to click on this one because I did put it up here twice as you can see so I'm going to come up here and delete my extra copy. It also, do you see this PS? Monarch made your photo a Photoshop file immediately putting it in here. Um, so that's why it says PS right there. So here's my profile pic. Okay. I am going to go to the team drive. I'm not clicking on the team drive because if I do, well, I'll show you what happens. If I click on the team drive, then I don't have my photo anymore, right? So I'll go back to uploads and click on that folder and it shows me there's the image that I want. Instead, I'm clicking on the down arrow to expand my folders from the team drive to uncaged to my practice layout to my name showing my links folder. Now I'm going to come back here, click on it. And drag it here. Okay? I could have clicked here, 
cut it, come over here and pasted it right here into my file too. I think it's easier to drag, but now you can see that my image is in the folder, ready to go in my links folder, moved out of the uploads. Okay, so today your job is to get any images that you want to use in your student bio up into Monarch. Have fun.